What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? And what up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing for? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. So we talked yesterday about Devin Haney filing a lawsuit uh, against Ryan Garcia. Where we know that Devin Haney is suing Ryan Garcia for battery, uh, for fraud, and for unjust enrichment. He's also indicating Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. Claiming that Golden Boy didn't pay him his money that he was deserved for that fight. Devin Haney says he's deserved 47% of the total revenue uh, of that fight. And he's waiting to collect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, it seems like at the base of their argument that Bill Haney, uh, who's came out in recent times on social media. Let's go over your head. Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions were awarded $1 million for damages for the fight. Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia on April the 20th. I ask I, one question is why would Oscar De La Hoya and, and Golden Boy Promotions receive $1 million in damages? What damages did they occur? For that, Devin Haney Promotions and me, we thankful to Devin Haney and stepping up and allowing us to do our job with Devin Haney Promotions and sue the entire outfit. So with that saying, the suit stands and Hall of Fame promoter Bob Aaron, I'm ashamed that you as an attorney also would advise that fighters don't sue. I mean, haven't you been sued before? Marvin Hagler, uh, Terrence Crawford, um, you know, so lawsuits are part of business. Welcome to boxing and the Devin Haney era. They indicating that Oscar De La Hoya received a million dollars in penalty money. And it looks as if that they would have rather received that money themselves. And they wondering why, how did that money go to Oscar De La Hoya? So it looked like, look, one of the reasons why they so peed off also about all of this is the fact that they didn't get paid properly or they want more money out of this situation that they feel like they deserve, you know? And um, one thing I was kind of surprised about to see from Bill Haney, who's now broke his silence, it's him going at Bob Arum because he came out indicating how Bob Arum, who clearly has something to say about fighters suing people and so on and so forth. And he indicated how Bob Arum was sued by former fighters like Marvin Hagler, Floyd Mayweather and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, I don't think that was kind of like a bad move because Devin Haney came out on recent times on social media saying, listen, going at Eddie Hearn saying that at least Bob Arum was been straight up with him and didn't lie to him and i'm paraphrasing that but he was going at eddie hearn and, and basically using bob merrim as a good example indicating that listen there's still a working relationship there that he can always kind of go back and maybe chill with bob merrim and get other fights with espn and top rank but to see bill haney come out dissing kind of dissing bob merrim thought that was a bit of a surprising and much of a bad move because you don't want to be on the outs with all of the promoters you know what I'm saying? We know that Devin Haney got a relationship now with Turkey Alashik, which is good. But we also figured Devin Haney that also had that relationship with Bob Arum. You know what I'm saying? So I just look at it like, bro, you don't want to be on the outs with all of the promoters. You want to still have some doors to be able to open and knock on. But I do believe that Bob Arum is a is an old school veteran. Uh, he doesn't mix business with personal. Uh, Bob has been dissed by a lot of fighters and still done business with him. So, I mean, listen. I don't think that Bob Arum would we'd even take that as a factor of whether or not he would still do business with the Haney's, you know what I'm saying? But still not a smart move uh, from Bill Haney. Now, you know, once again, I back Devin Haney in this situation. A lot of folks don't. I think that Devin Haney is standing on principle with this particular move. Uh, what Ryan Garcia did, how he conducted himself uh, for this fight was totally unprofessional. Uh, and just straight straight up pathetic. I mean, he could have literally hurt Devin Haney very, very bad in that fight. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Garcia was juiced to the gills. I believe he had the, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Osterine in his system. Um, once upon a time, he tested for an anabolic steroid and that disappeared. Uh, we really don't know how much Ryan Garcia was really, really doing. Um, people could try to make assumptions of what he was doing it for this reason or doing it for that reason But people honestly really just don't know and I know a lot of people may say hey main man Not a smart move if Devin Haney is hoping to secure the rematch with Ryan Garcia Listen, maybe Devin Haney is looking at it like screw the rematch 
the rematch is not technically promised fight fans there's no rematch clause in this case it's a more so hoping a prayer that ryan garcia comes around and do the right thing and hope and sit down and rematch Devin haney however on so on social media in recent days ryan garcia's came out indicating that he is looking to come back and do a tune-up and then go into a big fight a big fight can mean anybody fight fans you know what i'm saying so should devin haney be kissing the ass of ryan garcia sitting around waiting for him that he may or may not give devin haney a fight i don't think so you know what i mean so at the end of the day maybe haney weighed his options and say you know what my principles mean more to me than that fluke may or may not happen rematch you know what i'm saying against someone who has no respect and keep in mind may cheat again because you can see from the public opinion and in the, in the reception that ryan garcia is getting there are some boxing fans calling them out and saying that this was foul but there's a lot of them that isn't you know what i mean and i'm sure that boxing is waiting for ryan garcia to come back because boxing is greedy corrupt in, in a lot of cases so they would they just know that his name is hot a lot of people may want to see him fight so that makes ryan garcia a major attraction a major name or attraction in the sport of boxing you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day listen Ryan's rematch is not promised. Devin Haney may be sitting on his principles. Nothing stopping. Who knows? Ryan may cheat or cheat or not cheat again. Uh, people may say, look at Miguel Cotto and how Miguel Cotto uh, got it back against uh, Antonio Margarito. But also keep in mind, uh, Antonio Margarito never stopped trying to cheat. Uh, Antonio Margarito cheated on Cotto, and he also attempted to cheat against Sugar Shane Mosley. So nothing stopped Margarito, even though. Kodo was there with evidence and all that. He he denied it, denied it, didn't see anything. I don't know what you're seeing. Cheaters are going to cheat. If the if a if a person just feel like they can cheat one time, especially the first time, which is normally the hardest time for them to do it, and they kind of get a, a they didn't get a stiff penalty, then they'll think about doing it again. Fight fans, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that the same thing may happen. So. I think that Devin Haney looks at that and say, screw the rematch. He may cheat me again. Health is more important. Health is wealth. Ryan Garcia had total disregard for Devin Haney's health. Uh, Devin Haney has been fighting since the age of 15 years old, uh, fighting down in Mexico, fighting grown men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they getting primed and ready for these big moments of his career, uh, taking lesser deals to go after undisputed. We've seen him do that. Fighting Hall of Famers, you know what I'm saying? Only to his name really to, to recently start ringing bells uh, in the last few years. And now that he's kind of being you know, on the forefront of boxing, developing a fan base, uh, winning world titles, moving through weight classes. Now, who wants, Ryan Garcia wants to come around and cheat him away from all of that. And that's not right, fight fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, cheating him away from it get a slap on the wrist with a deal that he worked out with the commissions a deal which he knew uh, that was more advantageous to him than anything a deal fight fans so not really even a stiff penalty and then Devin haney pretty much got nothing other than having the loss overturned and not even overturned to a victory but just overturned to back to his o but that's about all he kind of got out of this People may say, well, he got the $1.5 million for the weight, man, man. Yeah, but he didn't ask for that. I mean, meaning like if Ryan would have just did what he was supposed to do, then that would have never came into play. It was Ryan Garcia that floated that $1.5 million um, penalty idea out there at the press conference when him and Devin Haney shook on it. Ryan insisted that he was going to make weight. And if he didn't, then he'll be, he'll be you know, down to take uh, give up $1.5 million or five. 500,000 for every pound he comes in over. You know what I'm saying? Remember, they, they agreed for that at the, at, the, at the press conference. So if Ryan just would have did what he had to do, Devin Haney would have never had to receive no penalty money. You know what I'm saying? And it's good if Devin Haney would have backed out of that fight, he would have been ridiculed more for ducking Ryan Garcia. That was his moment, his fight. He worked hard for it. The people wanted to see it. The, the it was a lot, a lot of pressure on Devin Haney to to accept that fight and so that's exactly what he did so the 1.5 million that he got for Ryan uh deciding to blow through the weight well that's on Ryan see when Tank had him under a penalty Ryan sure enough made weight comfortably you know what I'm saying lesser than 140 ain't that right fight fans so why couldn't he do the same thing for Devin Haney at a higher weight class at 140 pounds if that's the case when he agreed to take the fight 
then they should have agreed initially to take the fight at a catch weight. That would have then covered Ryan Garcia in a way to say, you know what, the fight is at a catch weight, you accept it, it is what it is. Not accept the fight at 140, knowing that 1.5 million off your pay ain't gonna be that much, so you was gonna blow through the weight no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Total disregard, the disrespect, the disregard, the disrespect of all of the groups and religions and the things that he said about himself, what happened to him as a child and his parents didn't do anything about it. All the disrespect, all of the all of the erratic behavior, man, this kid needs to be punished and be made as an example. So, I mean, I'm, I support Devin Haney for standing on principle behind this and it, not to mention the racist rant that he went on insulting so many uh, black people, man. That was totally, totally foul. So. Listen, at the end of the day, Ryan made a straight up ass out of himself. And in this case, more so than anything, he threw total disregard for Devin Haney's health out the window. Just all just to win a damn boxing match, right, fans? Devin Haney could be a vegetable right now. Devin Haney could be injured for life. I mean, some people say he took a lot of psychological damage behind this. Facts, you know what I'm saying? All at the hands of a cheater. And all he got was his loss returned to a O, you know what I'm saying? Holding on to the WBC interim belt, you know what I mean? Before this, uh, Devin Haney was the actual champion, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's all a bunch of just like whatever, man. You know what I mean? It's just all a bunch of whatever, man. And when Ryan Garcia comes back in April or whenever he decides to come back, it's more than likely gonna be around the time that they were gonna be looking to fight anyway, fight fans. So once again, Devin Haney felt like he's owed more. I feel like standing on principle, this is good. Hopefully this sends a message out to a lot of folks in boxing that don't cheat, man. When you cheat, this is may happen. Devin Haney is not known for suing no one. People may say, hey, it looks soft. Standing on, on principle for your health ain't soft. You know what I'm saying? And what you believe is owed to you ain't soft. Going against the powers that be in the sport of boxing is bold, man. It ain't soft at all, fight fans. It's straight up bold. You don't see fighters drawing lines in the sand like this because they're too afraid, because they're too soft. You know what I'm saying? So I support Devin Haney in this right here. Keep doing what you're doing, homie. You know, hopefully you get your justice. Uh, Ryan Garcia does need to be uh, receive a discipline and you should receive more in return for all that you're going through public humiliation uh stock being dropped uh as you can see in recent times eddie hearn coming out offering devin haney a million dollars for his next fight when devin haney was making three times that in his previous two or three fights i mean even though this is not even considered a loss for devin haney and and eddie hearn has already dropped the stock of devin haney fight fans so there you go. I mean, Devin Haney has proof right there on record showing that, yes, his stock has been dropped due to the humiliation from a cheater, fight fans. So that's more proof right there. Stock dropped, public, hu publicly humiliated, public opinion is, is, is trying to frame this kid as some sort of uh, a bad person or bad kid. I, I see people going and using other examples like the situation that happened at that carnival or some of the things that Bill Haney or Devin Haney has said in the past, and they're trying to use this to uh, have people gen up a, a certain feeling about Devin Haney and then transfer that feeling over to this situation. So, nah, man, whatever Devin Haney said or Bill Haney said or done in the past has nothing to do with how he feels uh, the reason why he's suing Ryan Garcia. So don't try to conflate the two. And that's the new trick that's going on using the internet, fight fans. Stay woke out there. Keep your third eye open. Don't fall for it. Base what Devin Haney done, uh, whatever, however you feel about him, base it on the merits of this and this alone. Not whatever statements he said, not whatever statements Bill Haney said. That's not the way it goes, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I stand with Devin Haney in this, man. Hopefully Ryan Garcia, who mocked the situation uh, after the fight, mocked the situation before the fight, uh, just didn't give a damn about Devin Haney's health. Uh, more than likely we could and would do it again, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Now, the strength of Devin Haney's arguments, I give him a 50-50 chance of winning this. I don't think he has a strong argument on the weight issue about Ryan Garcia disregarding the weight, but I understand him speaking about it, painting a broader picture. 
Um, I think his argument is strong in the PED area. Uh, given that Ryan Garcia cheated, Devin said he signed up to fight in a fair fight, a clean up and down fight, regardless of whatever deal was cut for the weight that has nothing to do with the fact that Ryan Garcia was dirty uh, leading up into this fight. Not to mention hampering with the investigation, uh, coming out, sending faulty samples in uh, that he knew that were totally faulty, trying to show his innocence. I mean, all of that stuff. And then, like I said, current constantly mocking and disrespecting Devin Haney publicly. Uh, after cheating him, man, it's just totally foul. So we'll see uh, how strong his case is. I think Haney got a 50-50 chance. Maybe he wins it, maybe he doesn't, but still drawing a line in the sand. And I see Ryan Garcia is out here on social media talking about, oh, uh, he only had a billionth of a whatever gram of uh, Osterine and, and he got some tainted supplements that he got from Scooter, who uh, is in association with Zab Zuda. And he's out there on social media putting that out there. Man, look, at the end of the day, that's still not a good look. I know a lot of people may look at that and say, oh, man, just a small amount. Listen, that's just, just the amount that got caught. Can anybody explain how in one test the anabolic steroids popped up and the other ones that didn't? Can anybody explain that? I mean, also, is it not also uh, in, in, in evident of cycling on and cycling off that there could still be traces amounts in your system when you're cycling off and you didn't do it all the way the right way? Ryan Garcia wasn't living like the best lifestyle at that time. Ryan Garcia was also flushing weight out real fast, which means that he was flushing a lot of stuff out of his system. And who knows if he got it all out, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, to find trace amounts would be in line of saying someone is cycling off as well, correct? So if I gotta use Ryan Garcia's character to say, is he seem like a good enough person to, to give him the benefit of the doubt that Yo, he wouldn't be doing anything like this when I seen him smoking, drinking, talking and acting the way he was acting for that fight. I would have to lean towards it more likely cycling off. Not to mention his erratic behavior the first time around when him and Devin Haney was supposed to fight and him having a breakdown publicly like that. So I would take all of that into account and character against Ryan Garcia, it more so leans in that direction for me. So forget all of that traces amount argument, homie. And that left hook, man, though it was landing on Devin, uh, Devin Haney, never seen it that strong in Ryan Garcia's entire career. Only the fight that he juiced in. So make it make sense, man. Uh, uh, standing on principle, I think his future still will remain bright. Uh, though he may be on the outs with a few promoters after this, I still think that his relationships that he still got in the game is strong enough to get him through. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, 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 rock the bells. We talk real soon, fam. To the next video. Peace out.